G'day and thanks for joining me. I'm Faintly Saintly and today we're looking at a game called Cupid Claw. Now I saw this one posted online by the developer a few months ago and I was sort of interested to follow it because uh, this is a roguelike claw machine game and uh, you may recall that we have covered a roguelike claw machine game in the past uh, which is Dungeon Clawler. So as weird as it is, it's been done. But this looks completely different, apart from obviously the claw mechanic, which is a similarity. This one, uh, just looking at the uh, description and the, the screenshots, it looks like it's taken a different direction. But either way, it's just a demo. It's a very early view of it. So I just thought I would jump in and check it out. So the description basically states it's a roguelike deck builder and you grab, sell and exchange prizes until you manage to recover Morris's lost engagement ring. So we have some motivation here, people. Let's jump in and take a look. I'm just going to suss out this volume. I don't think it's too bad. I'll just uh, take it down a notch. There we go. Cupid Claw demo. Let's jump in. How to play. Move the claw left and right and grab prizes. Beware of traps. Big prizes are worth triple. Prizes are automatically sold after their effect is applied, so try to win big. Customize your prizes between rounds. You can also re-roll and remove prizes using the blue and red tokens. Machines change every five rounds with increased cost and upgraded traps, so pay attention to your wallet and get as far as you can. All right, so Dungeon Clawler is the obvious, obvious um, comparison. But I'm also feeling maybe a uh, little luck be a landlord in here with the roguelike, you know, deck builder sort of situation going on. So these red things are traps. I'm not quite sure what they are. They look like crushed cans, but can't be sure. Uh, I need to insert a coin. There we go. Now, I want to avoid those traps. And the big prizes are worth triple, right? So let's... There we go. They're worth $6 each, which is lovely. Uh, let's go here. Coins are worth one, obviously, and the little bear is worth two. Oh, ran out of time. Okay, so you're up against the clock as well, which I wasn't quite... Uh, on the ball with there. Here are my current prizes. Coin, reroll token, delete token, and teddy bear. And a used can, I was right, it is a can. Who threw that in? <laughs> that's minus five. Well, okay, that's harsh. But I can add a new prize here. I can add a common capsule worth randomly between one and three. Another teddy bear. Or candy, don't talk to strangers, that's worth two. Um, teddy bear plus, plus one, surely. Okay, lots of traps around. If I insert my coin, move this way. I've got a delete token there, so I'm wondering what I can use that for. Let's see if I can grab this big. Oh, that's a shame. Minus five, that hurts. Can't really avoid them at this stage. So that's a net zero. Oh no, don't go back to the middle. Oh, I'm out of time. Okay. So how can I use this? I can use this now. Maybe not. Apple, 20% chance of changing into, is that a bitten apple or a rotten apple? every turn or some grass <laughs> and there's different categories as well so i'm guessing there might be something into that where you can get you know food items might be worth more or less or nature items might be worth more or less so something to consider oh here we go c to remove prize oh you can't remove the penalty cancel that um all right let's just go with this the more things in there that aren't going to Make me lose money, the better. All right, drop some money in. Let's go. 
Beautiful. So you really have to sort of rush. One thing I do miss from Dungeon Clawler, this doesn't have those physics where, you know, you, you move to left and right and it will sort of drag along just like the real ones, which isn't a bad thing when you're up against the clock, but I'm expecting it. But, you know, this one, when you stop, you stop. So a little bit more forgiving in that sense. Okay. Clock ran out while I was pulling that up, but it still counted, so that's good to know. I'm not really making a lot of money here. Okay. Get one delete immediately. Flower. Change into a tree for worth 15 coins after four turns. That's interesting. So insert some coins. Let's go. So I want to get four turns out quickly and I want to avoid picking up all the flowers. I want to get them when they turn into trees. If I can manage. Didn't really want to get that trap, but anyway. So now we've got some trees. Let's go. That's a good haul right there. That's how that's how we make money. Ah. Oh, split second off. I could have... Uh, we made about 20 odd dollars there, but anyway. That was a profitable round, that's not bad. Can upgrade teddy bears. I can get more grass. Legendary capsule, worth between seven and 15. Yeah, I can't go wrong with that. Grab the big bear first up. Reroll and two capsules, that's nice. Another big bear. There's a big flower there, that's going to turn into a big tree very shortly. Which is a bit exciting, because that will be worth, what, 45? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Perfect. Yeah, it's worth 45, that's awesome. Couple of cans there, but that's okay. I doubled my money basically that round. That's awesome. I can add a wing. Claw speed is 1.25 for five seconds. Ruby, plus two to all food items. There we go. There it is. Um, and it's worth 10. Claw speed up is good, but straight up cash is also good. Holy moly, what is going on here? Oh, this machine costs 150 to spin. Now we're getting serious. That's quite the ramp up. <laughs> Thought I was cruising. Now I am nervous. I stop picking up cans. Where are my trees? Oh, they're all buried. Might be in trouble here. Quick, quick, quick. Ooh, not sure about this. No, it fell short. Um, change into flower or grass after four turns. Another emerald, plus two to nature items, that's good. Rare capsule between three and seven. Um, does this matter? I can't roll, so I think I'm stuffed anyway. Yeah, game over. That's exactly, that is exactly how I feel right now. I ran out of money and couldn't complete the demo. <laughs> Persistence is key. Ugh. All right, it's very satisfying. I'm gonna give it another go. It's just a good feeling game. It's just uh, got that addictive one more go sort of feel to it, I think. Let's see how we go here. So starting with lollipops and coins. Not the most exciting combo. Giant one there, that's pretty good. Worth three times the amount. That one as well. Might have time for one more good grab. Might get a reroll here, actually. Not a bad start. Couple of cans, but that's okay. 
Okay, I made a slight profit. Grass, bit of lollipops. I'll do that. Coins in. Worthy trade there. That should be two. Nice, might have time for one more quick one, if there's any worth it, over here. Definitely. Hold that low pop, hold it, hold it. No, that's okay. Still come out ahead. Nice. Alright, common capsules, grass or legendary capsule. Uh, yep. That'll do. Coins in, let's go. I'm gonna move over here. Giant lollipop, please. It's a shame. Ah, oh, lost that one at the last second. That's okay. The capsule's worth 10, this one's worth 15. Eh, not the best. A puzzle piece. Plus one to puzzle piece. Okay, that's interesting. Seeds worth one, but they change into a flower or grass after four turns. That's interesting. I'm, I'm going to go this one. It looks like a broken Mario star. <laughs> Look at all these delicious puzzle pieces. So the more I get, the more they're worth, basically. So when they're bunched up like that, I'm going to grab them. Oh, I should grab a giant lollipop as well while I'm here. All right, let's see how this strategy goes. <laughs> I like that. Turns out that's not a bad strategy. Plus two to all plush items. Is this plush? That's no, a toy. Duck. Don't feed with bread. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I want the duck. I wonder if there's a bread item that if you uh, combine it with a duck, something bad happens. Um, what's the next shot there? That'll do. If I get one more shot off. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay. Not as exciting, but still not bad. Not a bad turn at all, actually. So we're moving on to the bigger machine now. I don't really want a common capsule. I don't really want any of these. I'm going to re-roll. A teddy bear, a sapphire, plus two to all toys. That's a toy. That's a plush. That's a toy. Uh, plus two to all toys is probably smarter. All right. What's a good look here? I think... Come down this side should be pretty good. As long as these cans don't all fall in. Which of course they immediately do. I think I'm gonna stick with it though. Oh, does this one count? It doesn't. <laughs> That's rude.
Can I get one more turn out? Okay, not bad. Actually, that turn was a negative, so that is kind of bad. That's fine. We're in a pretty good position to start with, so I'm not... Uh, I'm not panicking just yet. Gentle Teddy Bear, plus two to bears. Legendary Capsule, yes please. Oh, that's plus one, yeah. Um, still good, still good. Lots of cans over here. Oh, lots of cans everywhere, to be honest. Where do I start? About there, maybe. Focus on those good ones. Get a bunch of these puzzle pieces, hopefully. And that's freed up these ones. There's a big duck there with my name on it. Try again. Drop it. Okay, that's not too bad. All these puzzle pieces go to action here. Yeah, that's nice. Not bad at all. Over 400 now. Wing. Claw speed times 1.25 five seconds when grabbed. I mean, that's... Five seconds. Well, it could be the difference between an extra, an extra turn or not, really. Where are the wings? Oh, they're pretty rare by the looks, and there's only a few, and they're all down the bottom. Bit of a sacrifice there. I've grabbed a couple of cans, which will cost me, but I'm hoping. It'll pay out. Pay off, rather. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nah, didn't. <laughs> oh well. Not bad, not bad. A few too many cans for my liking. Yeah, I lost a bit of money that time. Um, extra Sapphire. Well, stronger stuff, Sapphire. I think I have to do that. Um, gonna start over this side. With a giant wing there too. Well, they're worth about ten. I really want that Sapphire, but he doesn't want to give it to me. There we go. Hmm, not sure how I feel about this one. Might be okay. I need 350 in two rounds. While spending 150 on spins. A polar teddy bear. Grass ruby. Plus one to food items. We do have food. I think I'm going to re-roll. Rare capsule. Re-roll. So the sapphire is plus one to all toys. But that's a terrible toy. I'm going to keep re-rolling. Jeez. Oh, not really excited by these. Last chance. Hmm. I have to do that one, I suppose. Not bad, not bad. couple of wings this time, so hopefully making the most of the speed. Giant lollipop there. Okay, that's not too bad, I think. 96 for that capsule, that's awesome. 
100 now, 104. Okay, we should make it to the next round. Well, I think we have now, yeah, guaranteed. Uh, candy, more wings, or better wings. Claw speed 1.5, so that increases their points and their speed bonus. Has to be done. That's a, a bouncy machine. Okay, interesting gimmick. Why am I starting with a removal item? Anyway, that changes things a little bit. <laughs> Put some money in and see what happens. Well, this just makes it incredibly difficult to plan. Mostly just spray and pray at this point. Oh, that's not a good grab. That is a terrible grab. One more. Hmm. Cans are worth minus 15 now. Ouch. The new machine is 605 rounds. Oh boy. Makes me nervous. Better wings. 1.5 for 7 seconds. Heck yes. Where are the wings? One right there. Some of these puzzle pieces. Another wing there. Thank you. Oh no. What happened then? I think I grabbed something out of the air. This is getting mental. I actually have no idea how I went this round. Didn't get any of the sapphires. Will I be able to afford another spin? Just. But I'm hemorrhaging money. Better ducks, better candy. I don't know what the right thing to do here is. A duck plus one. No giant ducks here, unfortunately. Ah, I should have grabbed a wing. Oh, that's awful. Can you sense the panic? <laughs> Oh no, that's... Oh, stop doing that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. So the things can jump up and absolutely block your shot, so just waste your turn. I think that's the end of me. Yep, that's it, unfortunately. Got a bit further, but... Uh... Yeah, that really stuffed me. So I think we're about to face a game over. Where is it? There it is. Aww. Nothing is lost. You can always try again if you enjoyed it. Persistence is key. What does this tell me? Oh, I just tells me about prizes and penalties. Who threw that in? Three out of five, there's five machines. So you really need to work on your scaling. So I think I was right in my earlier assessment. Very much uh, luck be a landlord sort of vibe to this, where you scale up and scale up and scale up, picking and choosing which items you want to appear in your machine. Okay, we've seen most of the items in the demo so far. Looks like there's a bit more to come. And obviously this is an early version, so obviously plenty more content to come in time i'm sure well if you like this and want to see more of it i will leave a link in the description you can check it out on steam there's no release date yet but the demo is available so you can check it on your wish list and give it a try for yourself and if you like this video and want to see more 
consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. I like to cover new and upcoming indie games and also double in VR games as well. So if you have any game suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.